Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and here is a video review of Transformers Cybertron Exilion. And this figure is one I always wanted out of the uh, Transformers Cybertron line, and I actually found this past weekend at a comic show in Albany, uh, New York. And I got it from uh, some guy named Mark. He is amazing, by the way. He runs the website Alternations. And, um, yeah, I'll post, you know, if he buys, sells various Transformers. Great to deal with. Very awesome dude. But, um, it's not the first Transformer I purchased from him either, so. Um, yeah, he's there at the Albany Comic Con twice a year. And I think he goes to the toy show, too. I'll post his information in the, um, information or description box or whatever you want to call it. Um, but, yeah, he's awesome. So, uh, I'll, I'll post his um, email and his uh, website there too. Buy, sells, collections. So, you might find something you're looking for. I always find something I'm looking for when I go to the comic show. So, anyway. I also ended up picking up uh, white, the, uh, the regular Vector Prime instead of the gold one I have. And I think that, I thought that was pretty cool too. And his prices are reasonable. Which is great. Um... So I don't have I didn't have to pay an arm and a leg on eBay for it when you know this guy has it at a really reasonable price. Well, I digress. Um, back to Exilion here, who's pretty awesome. Um, the reason I always wanted him out of the Transformer Cybertron line when it came out is this obviously came out before the Transformers Classics toy line did. So I wanted this guy as none other than. Hot Rod. And you can kind of see the resemblance with the flames. I mean, this resembles a lot more of the classics look of Hot Rod with the uh, gold paint. Or even with um, the Transformers Energon version of Rodimus with the gold paint. But um, I wanted it for that reason, but I never ended up finding him in a store. So... I ended up not getting him. I actually think in Japan they actually marketed this guy's hot rod. I could be wrong. Um, some little minor uh, nit nitpicky stuff is, uh, again, I bought the second hand, so um, there's some weight on it. Like, there's a piece of paint chunk out of there. But um, overall, the paint has held up great, considering this is several years old at this point. Um, you know, it's pretty good. It's got some scratches here, but again, that's from wear and tear. Um, I, I can say my Cybertron Hotshot out of the same mold is shot. I mean, like, the entire Autobot symbol here is rubbed off, and yeah, so, and his arms are loose. This one's nice. Um, my only, my, my only complaint as far as the actual uh, structure of it um, the paint they use, the red paint, doesn't quite match the red plastic. It's really close, though. Um, you really don't notice it. I'm looking at the camera right now. Um, at certain angles, you notice it more than others. But, um, yeah, like there you really don't notice, but here it's very visible. It's different. Um, so, this guy has a few cool features. He's got a gun here. Just plugs into the top of here and... It's got some decent force coming out of that missile launcher, too. Same as the Cybertron uh, Hotshot, except uh, that one was a uh, yellow gun, I think. But, uh, yeah, it's nice. Uh, I really don't care for that. But, um, I do have... A, it does actually have the same feature as Hot Rod. Um, Hotshot, sorry, not Hot Rod. I always think of Hotshot as um, Hot Rod. Uh, I know a lot of people associate him with Bumblebee. I don't know what th why that is, but anyway. I digress yet again. This pops in, and these come out. Another reason I kind of took this guy as definitely Hot rod -ish is these wings that pop out. I mean, it'd be awesome if they went and painted these, like, t gold to match this. And I think that would be pretty awesome, you know, just as a little uh, nod. Like, uh, let me grab his Legends class figure, which I do have. Um, so this is the Legends class figure that came out. 
um, where these were orange plastic. This guy looks like Rodimus. Um, actually, this guy on package was not called Exilion. This guy in package was called Hotshot. Go figure. Um, so, which is the same marketed as the actual Hotshot out of this mold, too. So, it's kind of odd, but, you know, in a roundabout way. Ended up being... It's pretty neat. So, uh, yeah, I've been using this guy as, like, kind of like a miniature hot rod in my collection. But I might do, uh, you know, I'll just show it a little bit. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. But that aside, go back to this guy. So these just uh, clip back in. And it's a nice, sh uh, sleek-looking car. And I like it. It doesn't have too much uh, robot lookingness other than his face here, which you can turn around. It'll still fit. I don't like doing that because it's, I'm too lazy, but whatever. Um, looks nice. So I'll go ahead and get him in uh, robot mode. But um, I'm not going to stop the video for that because it's such a simple transformation. I'll just talk about it. So start by pulling down the legs. Um, that, that separates these like fender pieces from the rest of it. Flip up the feet. And this is nice. It has kind of like the same pattern like the original did. If I can show that off here. Not painted, but is like the original, but it does have the same pattern. We'll get into that more later. Separate the legs. Pull out the arms. Pull this up. Spin this around. Pull this down. And you pretty much have them in robot mode. Just adjust the camera a little bit here. And I'll adjust a little bit more. Okay, so I, again, like this guy as Hot Rod. I think he would have made a fine classics version. Um, that's why I originally wanted him on. Like, oh, cool, it looks like Hot Rod. I totally want him. And then they came out with Rodimus for the classics line, and I gave up trying to find this guy. Because I had the classic version, which I have the reveal a shield version right here in robot mode. Show off a little bit next to him. I mean, obviously the classic mold is a lot tinier compared, but um, yeah, um, really like Hot Rod, which is why I like Celion, why I like Rodimus here. Really awesome. I l I ended up liking him pretty. Pretty much. Um, another thing that kind of tipped me off that this might be repainted into a hot rod mold, or hot, hot, yeah, hot rod mold, before it even came out. There's actually three molded like cannon lasers under here, and if everybody can think back to the um, first appearance of Hot Rod, these are his three lasers on his arms. Yeah, I noticed that in the Hot Rod mold, and I'm like, hey, this could. This would, like, this hotshot mold, sorry. This would look pretty cool. Um, actually, a few, um, it's another reason I like. Here, let me grab them off the shelf here. Whoops. It's another reason I like Power Link's, uh, hotshot from the, oh, Transformers on Model Line. It's because he also looks like Hot Rod. Um, another reason why I take this guy is more of a hot rod character. I don't understand. I think what people are coming from when they say Bumblebee is the yellow color that he was. But to me, he's always been more of a hot rod character because of his just per overall per personality. He didn't really fit the personality of Bumblebee and even, you know, so I got that a lot. Like, oh, I thought he was supposed to be a Bumblebee-like character. I'm like, are you saying that because he's yellow? I mean, really. I've always seen him more as a Hot Rod-esque character. So. That side, there's Exilion, which is awesomely a repaint of Cybertron Hotshot, which is very similar to a paint job that Hotshot had in Transformers Armada. Can show off the flames here. Yeah. So. 
there's uh, my review on Transformers Cybertron Exilion. Oh, well, might as well show off his gun in this mode, too, while I'm here. So, yeah, there it is. I don't really love the gun. Probably go with Hot Shot's gun in the box. And then, as always, you can have his wings out in this mode, too. Give him more of a Hot Rod-like appearance. Um, even though they're not yellow like the um, or orange like the um, miniature version. So, anyway, that concludes my video review on Transformers uh, Cybertron Exilion. If you have any questions about the figure, or if you have any more requests for videos, please post in the comments below and I will add that to the list. Um, my list is actually running quite low, so yeah, any requests requests you want to throw at me, I'd have no problem doing. Um, thanks for watching.